on a new site. Got the Kubota warming up. Take her down off the blacktop. Gonna head up in the back of the house. Quick little job, hot tub pad, hot tub pad. All right, right here, 12 by 12, hot tub pad. Gonna connect the wall to wall. Pour it thicker on the edge, like a little monolithic Alaskan slab. Poured this one a few years back. This patio, looking good. All right, I'm gonna take this row of block out of here. Probably keep the block in there. I'm not sure yet. As you can see, the slab, monolithic Alaskan slab starting to shape up. It's gonna have a 10 inch to a, about 12 inch haunch all the way around. We're pouring to the top of that concrete. I'll put a form here, 12 inch form, 12 inch form there. And then I'll get some fiber mix, maybe throw a couple, some wire mesh in it or something. But I'm going to tamp this right now. I'm going to Drop the machine back off, grab my van, tools, tamper, get this thing rocking and rolling.
Okie dokie, all formed up, tamped. Just two boards, gonna go to the top of that, top of that. I squared it off of this wall, because that wall isn't too square. Um, yeah, all tamped. Gonna get some wire and uh, call the creed in. Yeah, got the wire all in. Used it like uh, I bent it like a crab cage all the way around. I just take the wire and I bend the last square all the way around on the end of the wire. Just bend the last square so it acts like a crab cage and it goes down and around. Then you tie it all together like that. You just bend it very simple and easy. It's gonna be a 12 inch haunch all the way around with a six inch center. Good to go, ready to go. Just waiting on the Crete. Got my whalers in right here. Two by four, screw them in this way. Keep that board nice and straight. Wires in. Got a one grade stake in the center, just in case. Sun is setting because it's just about five o'clock. Couldn't get concrete uh, till before 30. So I came back and I'm waiting again. Yeah, the white truck's here. Four out of five. Let's get it in. I got a great place in the center here. All right, all magged down. Just gonna hit the edge. Take your cream, knock the rocks down. And I'm gonna chamfer this whole edge. Gonna chamfer. First hit. Just concentrate on getting the rocks down. Then go back over it. Three by three inches, put this 
in there, same way, like so. Three inches off each side. All right, got the brackets in, six by six brackets, edged along the whole edge there to reach my arms through that uh, fencing with a ladder. Got this little bit left over here. Just take some fat, rub it in. I got a quarter inch pitch on this slab. That's it. Just to get the ice and snow off. And rain. We'll let that set a little bit and then put a finish on it. Just waiting. I'm gonna go back, put the tools all back out of the van, the fiber screed and whatnot. Grab a bite to eat. Come back and give this a swirly float finish. I was gonna broom finish it, but uh, with these columns and stuff, you're not gonna get a good finish on that. So I'll get on it with some knee boards and polish it off because that's how this one is and we're gonna pour the same pad here probably next year I'll do that for these guys and um want everything to match so I'll be back all right just stop back at six o'clock hit the edges again it's not ready to be get on with knee pads no calcium in this one just uh just waiting it out probably eight o'clock before I could get on it finish it out this is gonna be the swirly float the way I started it here I don't know if you can see the texture uh, it's only right here but that will all get rehit again but that is what the swirly float is you just take your trowel hang on one sec you're just gonna go back and forth and then swirl it like so Back a day later, raining. I finished this at 9 p.m. at night. Looking good. All the edging done nicely. Chamfered edge, got my four posts in there. Swirly float finish to match this one. Everything come out perfect. Hot tub's gonna set nice. As you see, no water sitting on it and it is raining. Quarter inch pitch just enough. Well, you're not going to notice it, but it doesn't hold the water. All right, my people. That's one hot tub pad in the books. Catch you on the next one. Thumbs up, everyone. Subscribe. Make sure you are subscribed.